Today, we're going to talk about an experience that I had that highlights the importance of dealing with our fear of death. Very important, because once we free ourselves up from our fear and anxieties about death, we can live a much more comfortable life and very little will harsh our mellow. This past week on Thursday, I drove down from Fort Bragg, California to Mill Valley, California, right near San Francisco for a meeting of the Modern Family Institute. And while we were sitting there at this beautiful dinner, I could feel something inside of myself that warranted my attention. I wear an eye watch that gives me a reading of my uh, heart rate and it has an electrocardiogram built in as well. So I took my heart rate and it was 134, just about double my normal heart rate. And I could tell that my heart was not in a regular, what's called sinus rhythm or in a balanced rhythm. It was doing unusual things. Well, I finished the dinner. I went back to the uh, hotel that I was staying in for the evening, uh, got a good night's sleep. I was not afraid of anything because the worst that could happen would be that I died. And I'm not afraid of that. It's part of the life process. We live and we die and we have a life in between and various lives that we do have. So I went to sleep, I woke up, I got up in the morning, I drove back to Fort Bragg, three hour drive, and I went directly to the emergency room. In the emergency room, my uh, heart rate was still over 130, and I was told that I was in what's called VTAC. Now VTAC is a kind of uh, arrhythmia. It's different from what you've heard about called an AFib. An AFib is when you have an arrhythmia in the upper chambers of your heart called the atrium. A VTAC is when you have an arrhythmia in the lower chambers of your heart, the ventricles. This is much more dangerous because the left ventricle is the uh, chamber of the heart that pumps the oxygenated blood all over the body, which is essential for functioning. So we had to get me out of this uh, arrhythmia in the ventricles. And it's done by something called a cardioversion. Namely, you get an electrical shock to the heart. And that electrical shock almost always puts the heart back in rhythm, a great little invention. In order to get this electrical shock, you have to take anesthesia because I guess the shock is more than most people want to take while they're awake. So I talked to the doctor about the kind of anesthesia and he let me know that ketamine was available. So I opted for some ketamine. Wow, I had a psychedelic experience. I watched myself dissolve. I went through what's called ego death. But again, not being afraid of death, I just laid back, let it happen. I went right through the chamber of death, ego death that is, and came out the other side. Next thing I knew, somebody was tapping me on the shoulder saying, Dr. Miller, wake up. I wasn't ready to wake up, but I was ready to sing. So I started singing. I sang one of my favorite Joe Cocker songs. Give me a ticket for an airplane. I ain't got time to take a fast train. And I sang that song. At the end of it, instead of saying, only way to go, I'm a going home to my baby. I sang it to my wife. I said, I'm a going home to my Jolie. She wrote me a letter. And I lay there singing for a while, and then I came back into consciousness. Before long, they unhooked me from all the devices, and I was on my way. I drove home, and that night, just a few hours later, I took Jolie out to a local place, which I've already registered on the uh, social media, called The Tall Guy, and we were dancing. Yes, I went from cardiac arrhythmia and the tachycardia to dancing the same night. It's possible, it's more than possible, I did it. And I'm here today, it's a way of saying, it's very important to deal with these fears that have been instilled with us. Please, very important, particularly the fear of death. It's been put into us through the culture for thousands of years, and it's time we all got over it so that we could live lives unafraid of what's gonna come, living in the moment, enjoying everything without that little sword of, is this going to kill me? Until next time, this is Dr. Richard Lewis Miller reminding you that good health is worth fighting for, and it's essential.
for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.